Welcome to the Ellen Degenerate Show. Okay. But um, we're just degenerate. two guys here sitting on a couch for you. Smoking. Yeah. We got cigarettes. Corn. Exceptionally expensive cigarettes. Ten bucks these days. If you know the political climate now, we are looking at uh, tax taxes on tobacco products. And now uh, at a 7-Eleven, mind you, not even a restaurant, bar, corn. Restaurant bar, you know, I'm sure it'd be like, like number back in the day was like twelve bucks, Del Mar, whatever. Yeah. We're talking to the fucking Seven Eleven, ten bucks plus ten, some loose change, ten thirty eight or something. That's a lot of cash for cigarettes. Yeah, but I like how they bullshit you because on the sign it says like seven dollars, whatever, whatever, but it's like that damn. Yeah, once you add in the tax. What is the tax? I have no idea. All I know is they got like a five dollar tax now on. Addition to whatever t- the taxes were, so so here on the corn show, you know how we are uh, about supporters. Yeah. yeah, so you might see the fish. Probably not. I don't like doing this the cigarette too much. That was why the cigars, but cigars. I'm sure they're gonna get hit with the Let's and see. I can't the tobacco tax. Of course, and I can't see myself paying fifteen dollars. Eh. You know, with cigars, I can justify because I don't smoke cigars that often. And with, you know, pipe tobacco, it's okay because, like I said, it's mostly just, uh, for me, it's uh, an affectation. I'm not really hooked to the nicotine. Well, that's why I'm saying on the (laughs) Fish and Corn show, we might not be tobacco. Yeah, 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 stage product. uh, I mean, I like it more than new tobacco products, Mm -hmm. but it's one of those things I could... Do without. Easily do without, especially the cost nowadays. Cost nowadays is just too much. Well, yeah, but I, I've never let cost get in the way of a, a good vice. I thought we, um, <laughs> yeah, I thought you had a sixty dollar now. That's that's another thing. <laughs> yeah, but that's my point. You know, it's a that's a bargain. The, 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 that's a bargain. Yeah, so ten bucks for advice that you enjoy. That's not bad. I think it's just like you know, ten fifteen minutes. It's a dollar a minute. Right. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, good thing I don't have any of these, like, gambling things where it's, like, yeah, well, $10 you know, a it, hand. Forget that. <laughs> the, that one time I was Uh-oh. talking to that cat at the at the restaurant at the uh, Seven Mile uh, Casino. Thumbs up. Let's give it a thumbs up. I Oh, I love the place. I, I love food. the place. Yes. I've never gambled. I don't gamble, so I don't know what the gambling situation is like there. But I was talking to this kid that was, you know, that's there... Four or five times a fucking week, and I was asking him, you know, so what do you get out of it? What what, what kind of money are you spending here? I was like, oh, dude, I right now I owe like seventy five hundred dollars on my credit cards. It's like, really? You see, because you know, I've read about you know the guy who started the whole uh-huh. taco truck trend, uh-huh. uh, Roy Choi. Uh-huh. At one point, he had a, a gambling problem. Well, see, that's what this kid was explaining to me. Because uh, to me, seventy five hundred bucks in credit card debt for a vice sounds a little sketchy. It sounds kind of oof. But then he was explaining deep. Yeah, well, no, because then he was explaining to me. Yeah, when he I've, wins, I've had I've had days where <clears throat> weeks where I'm seventy five thousand dollars up. That's what Roy yeah. Choi was talking about. Yeah. But do you need that money to to bankroll the next business deal, day. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's not like you really have it. You're kind of like in You're between. You're just babysitting it while it gives, while it feeds your your need to win or your addiction. You remember I told you about, you know, my, my cousin, right? The one who wrote, drove the truck? Uh-huh. And how I learned more. It was from the, the trust for all these properties. She was basically liquefied it and zeroed it. That was for all these their rental properties for the family. She basically stole from the family. She was another one that had that whole, you know, when she told me, when you go to VA house or any of those, you got to bring $1,000, but you'll win. You won't. Yeah. The, I mean, that's the whole point of gambling. The, the, the whole point is that you're going to leave your money there. That's why they lavish you with all this bullshit. Free rooms. Huh. Free food. Or reduced money food. But, I mean, it, it's still bullshit. I, I, I've never been into the gambling deal. Yeah, I, I go there to people watch, but to like, I, I will craps tables. So I'll play that, but that's Mickey Mouse. 
Yeah, because we don't do it every time we go to the casino. Plus, I won't spend more than a couple of hundred bucks on anything. <laughs> it's like, here you go. And speaking of which, uh, you're going to see these. I haven't up uploaded it. We have uh, a couple videos from the Long Beach Grand Prix. The fish was a uh, dark fish in a white world because I went into the pit suites. You know, yeah. the, the, you know, I had all the access. Fish has a little bit of connections into that. It's um, those tickets uh, to get where I was at, three grand maybe. Uh, pretty nice. The, I wasn't there Sunday. Sunday is Lobster Day, but they had steak, they had fish, unlimited booze, and, and this we're talking at a venue where one of those big beers that you see the general admission people pay. They're like thirteen dollars. Cause homie was saying, dude, you know how because we were drinking drinks. He said, I mean, we're just like, you know, getting whatever we want, good liquor. You know how much that he was saying fish. You know how much those fucking beers are, thirteen bucks. And people walk around and they'll fucking buy three, four of them each. I don't need to get sauced that badly. It's a big beer. <sighs> but it's bucks like, on beer. I could buy a it's keg te- for that. And it's uh, the beer sponsor is Tecate. So you're getting a thirteen dollar cup of Tecate. When you can go down the fucking north gate and get like an eighteen pack, yeah, an eighteen pack for nine bucks, you know? yeah, and yeah. like a, a bag of carne asada, <laughs> you know, pre-made shit, and you go home, cook it out with your homies on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> underneath the fucking Coronado Bridge. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I like the Coronado Bridge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what, what though? That whole neighborhood's gonna get fucked in the next 10 years. Good, bad. Uh, good, good for, for the property years. owners. Bad for people who live there right now. You think those classic old homes? They're all gonna get priced out of the market, dude. All that shit's gonna get torn up and all that shit's gonna get turned into high rise condos. They're like those nice ones. Yeah. Yeah. All the people that live in those places are gonna get displaced. Unless yeah. grandma owns it. Yeah, unless they own it. And but then they're going to move. Because they're going to move because, because they're going to oh, throw fuck. a shitload of money at them. Yo, they want that for mm-hmm. Tia's house and shit. Exactly. Oh, I'll sell that. I get my <laughs> Ford 250. <laughs> <laughs> get their McMansion out in East Lake. <laughs> yeah. Get a couple of quads. We can go out to fucking Thanksgiving at Glamis. Chewie's gonna fall off, cut his, he's gonna be limp because he ran over his own leg. You know, you're like, <laughs> all because of development and <laughs> body of Logan. We just played it forward for you. So if you're any Vatos listening to this, beware. Hold on to your territory, man. Yeah, yeah, or if you do sell out, watch out for that quad. For your information, little pro tip uh, a couple of pounds of sugar mixed into a couple of tons of cement will prevent the cement from ever setting properly. Keep that in mind. Oh, for those people? Where would they want to sabotage? I don't know. You never know when you want to sour the deal on a concrete. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, just a general tip. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, so that I guess that's Barty Logan for you. <laughs> but onward, we, had to, we do it. Like I said, I'm going to upload those Long Beach Grand Prix um uh, videos, just a quick, you know, pit stops, whatnot. Oh, the but the Mercedes, uh, the black uh, series, the black talking. series. Now that was something that I've seen, never really investigated until the race, and I saw there was a couple racing ones, and there was a couple, uh, you know, static display that are just yeah. street street legal ones, and I don't know, it's a quarter million dollar car, so it's a supercar. My whole thing is I was telling you earlier that I was quite surprised. Like, it must handle because it's a front-engine car, has this long front end, but what's beautiful about it, it's just like two and a half feet between the front uh, cooling uh, radiator and the engine, which is behind the front axle. So for you car enthusiasts, you know that's going to handle. Yeah. It's a hot little car, but I, it's overpriced. Well, it's a Mercedes, it's uh So what? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, for anything, you know me, I would rather buy other toys. Well, I mean, the thing is that all the manufacturers went to that, went in that direction. I, I was really excited when the, uh, the GT, the Ford GT came out, but then, you know, they turned it into a quarter million dollar half a car. Really? Oh, yeah. 
It's quarter million. Oh, did I say? I got the picture of it. I got to show you. I got the new one. The oh, GT? picture. A picture of the new Ford GT. Oh, yeah? New one. That's a sweet car. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pricey. Of course it's pricey. It's all pricey. It, 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 the thing is, in 25, 30 years, the car uh, business is going to be for the super rich and for fleets. People, normal Joes like you and I, won't be buying cars anymore. We'll just subscribe to a car service. A car service where a robot will come pick us up and take us to our destination. I'm looking forward to those days. Really? Fuck well, that. <laughs> I mean, you you do have your own car. I I like being able to. Yeah, drive. yeah, yeah. But it'd be kind of nice just to hop in and you know for certain. For that, shit. you can just take the fucking bus. Oh jeez, dude. <laughs> that is, you see what I'm saying? I've taken the bus. Well, I've so taken have the I. Trolley. I've taken the trolley. I've taken the bus and. If I'm going to sit in a fucking seat that a half million other people have sat in, it's not the same thing, even if it's a little robot that comes and picks me up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's, it, I, it, it's not my personal space. The thing I like about my car, it's a little room. personal space, a little room that you take everywhere, and it's only yours, and you can exclude others from it. Sleep in it. You can eat in it. You can drive places with it. In it, you can fuck in it. You can do whatever the, the hell you want in it because it's yours. Yeah, I like that idea. You can't do that in a little robot car that comes and picks you up. Unless you just um. No, yeah. I mean, robot. you can still do it, I guess. But it's, it's, it's the other way, robot. <laughs> but the point is, the point is, if they can still do it, then you're basically doing it on a public space. It's not your <laughs> space. You know what I'm saying? You hold that thought, Corn. We're at 12 minutes. We're just getting the ball rolling here on this uh, show for you called the Fishing Corn Show. And we got the, the new um, series coming. We'll be right back. You stay tuned. No. <laughs> like, remember our, our, our post screening? Yeah. That's nothing, folks. <laughs> <laughs> 